Hello students, today we are going to do a very important question based on height and distance. A vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff of height h. At a point on the plane, the angles of elevation of the bottom and the top of the flagstaff are alpha and beta respectively. Prove that the height of the tower is h10 alpha whole upon 10 beta minus 10 alpha. So this is the question. Now let us start. First of all, see, AB is the tower and BD is the flagstaff whose height is h. C is a point on the plane. If from this point, if you see the bottom of the flagstaff, angle is alpha, angle of elevation. And from the same point, if you see the top of the flagstaff, angle of elevation is beta. We want to find the height of this tower. We have assumed that height, capital H, and the height of this flagstaff, they have given small h. And AC, I have assumed x. Now, first of all, I am taking right triangle ABC. In that one, AB by AC, I am taking. So, perpendicular upon base will be equal to 10. And in this case, alpha angle will be taken. So, that will be 10 alpha. Now, we will interchange their places. First of all, AC is X and AB we have assumed capital H. So, capital H by X is equal to 10 alpha. Now, I am taking x that side and 10 alpha will come in the denominator. So, x is equal to h by 10 alpha. This is equation number 1. After that, I am taking triangle, right triangle, ACD, that bigger triangle. In that one, we will take AD by AC. So, here also perpendicular upon base will be equal to 10 and in this case, beta angle will be taken, 10 beta. Now, AD, AD will be this capital H plus this small h and AC is x. Now here also you interchange their places x will go there and 10 beta will come in the denominator that is that is equation number 2. Now you see equation 1 x is equal to this one and here equation 2 x is equal to this one. When right sides are equal then left sides will also be equal. So from equation number 1 and equation number 2 h upon 10 alpha is equal to h plus small h upon 10 beta. Now we will cross multiply. So it this capital H will be multiplied by this 10 beta and this 10 alpha will be multiplied by each term. That means capital H 10 alpha plus small h 10 alpha. After that we will take this capital H 10 alpha to left hand side. So here you can see capital H is common so it will be taken as common so inside we will have 10 beta minus 10 alpha and right side we have H 10 alpha now this is multiplied by H so when it go to right hand side it will come in the denominator and that is height of tower and we wanted to prove that same so hope that you have understood if you have understood you please share this with your friends Thank you students.